suplex. Good Saturday morning. Thoughts count anywhere. Saturday morning, first week in February. I won't say the date because I don't know what the date is. It's February 5th. I'm still on UK time. Filling in for Aaron Phillips, the host of Thoughts Count Anywhere. I'm Scott Hosey, former member of Thoughts Count Anywhere. The Godfather. The back. Godfather is back. <laughs> Damn! I've been blessed. It's yes. going to be a good day. Yes. <laughs> Matt Mullen, Thomas Burnett, and the Chief. Sitting in at studio, need to fix Thomas's microphone. See, I just read stuff. I'm a ripping reader from the old ESPN days. Oh my god. Just. There's technical difficulties, and I'm in studio. That tells you check. everything. It works. <laughs> check. Oh, check, please. You credit card. Okay. Anyway, we are one week past Royal Rumble, or in my case, six days, because I saw it at three in the morning. Don't know why, but we'll talk about that later. You saw it three in the morning when he was. I knew eating, the results before you guys did. When he was eating, bang, <laughs> eating bangers and mash. Mm-hmm. For those who don't know, I was over in the UK for an extended period of time. Um, you know, spinning on a chair, just going, <laughs> I want to come home. Uh, food sucks over there. Um, just, just saying. Uh, selection. Uh, you know, for for all the kids out there that do not appreciate uh, the U.S., uh, I can tell you this. Appreciate what you have here in the U.S. because when you go over there and you go to the Walmart, which is actually owned by Walmart, but it's called Asda, um, and you see a four-foot section of, and you will appreciate this, at your store, grocery store did not be named later, um, when you have a full row of different kinds of sodas mm-hmm. and you in the U.K. and you have like three different flavors. You have Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, and Sprite or Coke, Diet Coke, Sprite. And that is it. You're in a four-foot section going... Not much of selection, but they do have lots of breads. Everything over there is bread. <laughs> Donuts, breads, everything, runny scrambled eggs. Um, yeah, I, I just did not appreciate that. The best food I had over there was, in the, and I'm going to give a shout out to the place. It's called the Italian Orchard. It was a winery around the corner. The best lasagna I've ever had. He did. Uh, he closer didn't, closer he, to He Italy. didn't eat the lasagna, man. He went for the wine. I whine a lot. We too. know that already. <laughs> man. Hey, good morning to everybody who's watching the show right now. Absolutely. Good morning. Good Absolutely. morning. Thanks for thanks, thanks for joining us. We're uh, we're tired. Yes. So, but we had we're a great night it. last night at FSW. Were you there? Yes. Okay, I didn't see you. You yeah. did. I he, did. He was. Yes. Oh yeah, I was half asleep. Yeah, you were yeah. asleep. I was. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Was, I saw was, you for a short time, and yeah. somebody else that's with you all the time, but that's okay. Hey, you know what? The, it was a great show. That was a packed house last night. Packed probably. show. Um, that was a packed house. Standing room only. And it's for me, it's, it's old homecoming week. For those who don't know, I was involved in the first indie that was here in Las Vegas. And that was my home 35 years ago. Uh, we used to run at the Silver Nugget. And I think we should keep going back there. I, I, as I told you They haven't you changed last the carpet night, in 35 years. No, and the venue hasn't changed. But, but, uh, <laughs> but, as, uh, but as I told you last night. I think it's a good venue. It's a good wrestling venue. Yeah. Uh, they do need, uh, you know, facilities, more to upgrade. bathroom. Yes. Like I said, 35 years ago, the place hasn't changed. Maybe a coat of paint if it was lucky. But uh, I walked upstairs to the uh, lovely facility, the Silver Nugget, and um, I thought I was at a Dottie's or something like that. I could have cut the smoke tent, you know, smoke in there with a knife. Um, and it's half. Me growing up here in Las Vegas, I my mom used to be the cage manager at Silver Nugget. Oh, wow. That place oh, is a really? uh, quarter of the size because they've walled off everything. So I don't know what it's condemned on the other side or not. But I didn't go. I really didn't go into the casino last night. There's other not than much of a casino. other than to get my wife and get her down into the venue, I uh, didn't go up. But I give credit to Joe DeFalco and the FSW crew over there. They put on a good show last night. Uh, our homeboy came back with his lovely fiance, Scarlett, and Kevin Cross, Killer Cross, Carrying Cross, whatever you want to call him. It's almost like Johnny Mundo, Johnny Nitro. <laughs> but anyway. I, I call him Sir. I call him a friend of the show. He's uh, definitely bulked up. Yes. Uh, with Good that morning, being said, Duke. let's start off with I Hear Voices. Ding when I was here last time. No, 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 no. First, we go story time with Matt. That's right. Story time with Matt. Yes, we oh, go. We have to. Oh, we, <laughs> we, 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 we have to go to story time with Matt. 
What happens on Fremont Street stays in Fremont Street. It is now story time with the Enforcer, Mad Mom. Alright, I got one for you guys. You get a call at like 3 p.m. of some guy radically going around the parking garage. I get downstairs and I see like a broken gate and I was like, oh, what the hell is this? And this drunk guy was trying to get into his car. And we're like, no, you're not doing this. And we grabbed him, like, stopped the car, like, as soon as he hit the other gate. Ended up ripping him out of his car before, like, the cops got there. Failed his DUI test at 3 in the afternoon. (laughs) And went to jail. And they found out that car was stolen, so. Oh, double whammy. He's going to be in there for a hot minute. Oh, yeah. So, Mr. Arnett was at Fremont Street. <laughs> <laughs> Ohio State boy. Way to go. It wasn't a Raider this time. Yeah. Talking, but... <laughs> go the morning, Brandon. You're going to watch the Super Bowl from the Clark County Detention yeah. Center. <laughs> Brandy's in the chat room. Good Sister, morning. what's up? She had a uh, long evening last night over at FSW. You still, oh, got, yeah. you still smiling this morning, young lady? <laughs> that, that, that's got to be surgically removed. Oh, yeah. Oh. You know what, I think... Uh, oh, My uh, response to Chief was, she does know Scarlet's right there, right? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't care. She doesn't care. Uh, does not care. You know what, though? It was good, to, um, in all honesty, uh, have, Kevin, have Kevin and Scarlet come back because we have to include her as part of the family now. But we had a hell of a lot of family there last night. Absolutely. so uh, And it's good. Yeah, I am too. Okay. So let's start off with I Hear Voices. Ding, ding, ding. Awesome. Rumor is Vince is leaning towards champion versus championship match at WrestleMania between Lesnar and Roman Reigns. Matt, take it. Oh, dear God. I don't want to see this again. Can we throw in Goldberg? Oh, Oh, we'll get to Goldberg. (laughs) We'll get to Goldberg. I will want to see this as long as we get a new belt that looks like an actual championship belt out of this whole situation. Then I'm down for it. <laughs> then it'll just cost you and Ryan some money. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy a belt as long as it's nice looking. This big WWE logo thing is you know, not it. I, I heard an interesting one this morning. Why not have the championships, the, you know, the belts, just for WrestleMania? Um, Mecca. <laughs> the Mecca. Um, the one that just passed. You know, four big shows. So J- the- just have those belts. Then, belts mean nothing anymore. <clears throat> then, use, then use the Intercontinental and the, either the Intercontinental belt or the U.S. belt, okay, as the main belt during throughout the year. I'm already confused. <laughs> no, I, I, I know what he's saying. Yes. All right. If it confused us, it's going <laughs> to genuinely confuse the dumbest wrestling fan. No, well, no, I know what, what? I, well, I know what he's saying. So yeah. did I do a good job? Yeah. All right. I'm one for one. That and a thousand. Go ahead. You explain Thomas, it. Go ahead. What, he's, what she was trying to say is just defend, just have the, whoever wins between Brock and Roman, just defend the title at the big four pay-per-views. That's it. And then just have the Shinsuke and Damian be the main guys throughout the rest of the year. So we can hear the whole internet wrestling community bitch about part-timers all year long. Yes. Yep, exactly. And they're yep. only there four times a year. Yes. Yep. Now, Makes sense. Speaking and of part-timers, if Taker comes back for WrestleMania, <laughs> is he going to be bitched at being a part-timer? <laughs> but, it's Taker. But, I don't think he'll ever get But bitched here's at. the thing, brother. Didn't we know, you know, we, <clears throat> excuse me, we talked last week that, if Rhonda came back, Rhonda was going to win. Okay, She came back, she won. <laughs> it, it's a no-brainer that she's getting the championship match now. Yeah. All right, it's a no-brainer. So that was an automatic call. The same thing on the fellas' side. Okay? We, s- we, we said if Lesnar loses, he's coming back in the Rumble, number 30, he's going to win it, he's going to get championship match. That's what's happening. There's no, and Scott, give me the um, right analogy. There's no um, secrecy, to, in my opinion, 
to professional wrestling today. You know, backstage. Some things. Oh, it's need, social media. Everything's out there. Exactly. It used to be the dirt sheets years ago. Um, a good friend of mine, Mike Tanay, you know, used to write a dirt sheet. And you know, obviously, you know, Miss, years at WCW and also uh, Impact TNA at the time. Um, you know, huge. The professor is who he was. Now. Miss Napolitano yeah. also. And absolutely. Um, you know, the dirt sheets is you got them once a week in the mail if you were lucky yep. every two weeks and you had to keep up or you know the pro wrestling illustrated the wrestler magazines newsstands that's where you got your word now five minutes after or five minutes before you're getting it on social media so yeah all the curtains turn back everybody's got a phone if you think you're doing something strange or um you know illegal matt's watching all the time but uh you're gonna definitely see it you know you're, there's a camera everywhere oh yeah everywhere. big brother is watching yeah even well, between that, and it's just the storylines have all turned so predictable that yeah. you know what's going to happen before you even turn on the screen well, 99 uh, times out of 100. I've been saying, you know, obviously the back uh, writers and the producers are no longer wrestlers. It's all Hollywood writers and things like that. They have no history in wrestling and yeah. no business in wrestling, and obviously we're seeing it now. True. Yeah, at, at the forefront. Uh, continuing on with rumors, because uh, yeah, you just have rumor here, so I was a little confused. Oh, uh, yeah, I was rumor. meant to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rumor, okay, rumor. Uh, but, you know, uh, isn't that like Bruce Willis's daughter? Uh, rumor is <laughs> AEW is interested in Keith Lee. Who isn't AEW interested in? True. Everybody. Yeah, everybody. Everybody. I, and have well, no, use, no, no idea what to do with them. No. I, I hope Keith Lee goes to MLW. MLW has a, a lot of uh, good talent there. They're starting to suck up talent. There'll be talent showing up there. Um, yes, there will. But the problem is MLW has no money. TikTok. Mm -hmm. uh, no money. And you can't make a living there. No. Mm -hmm. that Do you is... have more than uh? No. Just, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been a long morning. Yeah, no. <laughs> that, that, is, that, unfo that unfortunately is... Uh, how it is, but I know I do know a wrestler that did sign a contract with MLW for six figures. So Where's the decimal point in that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, after the six figures after the six figure? oh, is awesome. is point zero zero. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Matt, what about Keith Lee going to AEW? Will they keep the gimmick? Uh, will he get a gimmick, or will he get like you know? Hopefully, he doesn't get another or hula skirt or a bear cat something. <laughs> At least the one good thing about AEW is they don't really stick you with like a crazy gimmick unless they kind of let you just do your own thing with what you were already doing. But you kind of got creative freedom over there, which well, that's hopefully why they Matt at least give Keith Lee a manager because his on promos the yeah. are the most monotone, boring thing I have ever heard. Who? Keith Lee. So he he doesn't have he Mike's, at least needs a manager. He doesn't have mic skills. He can work on that. So who yeah. would you suggest be his manager? Chief. <laughs> Vicky Guerrero. <laughs> I was gonna say the only manager really over there is Vicky Guerrero. Vicky Guerrero. So you'd have to turn mm -hmm. him heel like automatically. Well, he's better heel than he was a face. Yeah. How about if he goes into the MJF clan? MGF doesn't need anybody else. He, no. To me, he actually is should be breaking away and just be uh, a standalone. Yes. Yeah. Well, he needs to get away from Spears because. Yeah. At least with Wardlow, they're doing something with Wardlow. Wardlow, trying to get him well, over. I think Wardlow's going to do the turn on him. Oh yeah, that's been you know you can for see it. You can see it coming. So. Uh, to Matt's point, everything's predictable now. Uh, it's getting there. Yeah. So with that being said, let's take an early break and bother him with a donut in his mouth. I did that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Kick back, lean back, feet up on the desk. The you gotta keep your, you got to keep your pr producer in uh, check there. The name of the professional wrestler today, Fuzzy Cupid. I could go all sorts of places. <laughs> <laughs> you know that guy knows how to fight. Yeah, exactly. So with that being said, let's take a quick commercial break, and we'll be back. Here at Thoughts Count Anywhere, we'll talk Royal Rumble review with the guys here in about two minutes. Because the cheat. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's no. the best podcast. Thoughts Count Anywhere. All your wrestling news, all your hobbit you hey, all your gimmickry. Go on over, listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! 
If inspiration is the beginning, where does it lead? Experience the 2021 Mazda 3 sedan and see where inspiration can take you. Grab the brass ring in a 2021 Mazda 3 with exclusive FSW discounts at Finley Mazda. Get Garth today at the Valley Auto Mall. This is John Cena. I just, I, just, I just wanted to send you a congratulations on your podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. Because indeed they do. Thoughts are important. I mean, what would they, we do without them? And how can they not count anywhere? I just wonder, is there a place that thoughts don't count? I can't think of one. Well, I just wanted to say thank you very much. Congratulations and good luck on the podcast. Thoughts count anywhere because they do. This is the story of one man's incredible journey from 350 to 200 pound weight loss and his mission to help and inspire others. Aaron Phillips. People are praising Aaron's new book with five star reviews. Aaron's various humorous and wildly entertaining stories portray his rise as a sports announcer, his encounters with exotic and irregular entertainers on the Las Vegas Strip through his long-running Vegas Unwrapped radio show, and his contagious and positive style of pursuing success. Call now or visit our website or Amazon now to get your copy of Let My Voice Speak to You, stories from a Hall of Fame radio personality. Order now. Welcome back to Thoughts Count Anywhere after we do a two-minute commercial about the book of Aaron Phillips, The Voice. The commercial's longer than the show. <laughs> I, I don't think we have the mics on over here, Mr. Donut. Oh, no. Yeah. Homer Simpson over there. Yeah, Miss, the... Mr. Uh, producer still has the donut in his mouth. We are not so. sponsored by Krispy Kreme. No. <laughs> <laughs> there was a Krispy Kreme over in the UK. I took a picture of it. That was quite interesting. Also, a Chick fil A. Also, Kentucky Fried Chicken over in the UK. Probably McDonald's, too. Yes, I did see a McDonald's as I was driving on the wrong side of the road. And don't drive. Back in the U.S. when you're tired coming back from the U.K. On the wrong oh, side. Oh, no. Yes. I started down the wrong side of the road. And, oh, shit. And they used to have Shakey's Pizza over there, too. They had, they had a Pizza Hut. I saw that. Pizza Hut. Where you could eat inside. Whatever happened They went the same way as the studio down here. You went, you, went, you went from Shakey's Pizza to Krispy Kreme Donuts. So. Now, Matt, we need to send out an APB for... Uh, yeah, our, where's, our, where's, where's Ryan? Ryan? Can, can you yeah, put something where, up? Where's Ryan? Where's uh, Ryan? We, we need a you know APB search, or is he with someone else, buying a belt? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, continuing on with the show. Yeah. Trying to ignore somebody and couldn't get out of the house. Yeah. Hey, my buddy Principe Leon, top of the morning to you. Are you wrestling this weekend, sir? He's going to answer in a chat three minutes. And my later. man Duke, our prediction for the 2022 breakout star of the year. Locally, Duke Lawrence. Yep. yep. Is he awake? Yeah, he's, he's, in the, he's, he's in the, the house. He's in the house? He's in the house right here. Okay. My man Duke is watching. Duke, you wrestling this weekend over in Cali or locally or anything? We'll find out how fast he responds. Continuing on with the show, we got Royal Rumble Review. Let's start off with Seth Rollins defeating Roman Reigns versus DQ Chief. You take it. Seth Rollins is on fire. That's what Becky said. <laughs> hey, he doesn't shoot blanks, does he? Nope. Okay. I see. You want, you want to get me started, don't you? Huh. Chief's rant. Yeah, there we go. All right, enough said. No, I'm, hey, I'm happy. Uh, I'm glad that uh, he came out in his previous gear, came down the steps, and did what was needed. Got the job done. Got the W and... Rolling on in well, into and what? And they well, dropped well, the program. Yeah. Well, technically, he didn't get the job done because he didn't win the belt. So he it's, got the W, but he didn't win the war. It's okay. It's coming. What, what, what's that? The Elimination Chamber? Isn't that what he's going to be in next? Yeah. Well, guess what? 
When they're already Stand advertising. They're already advertising Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. And Matt, Seth, when they, it was cool when Seth came out with like the shield gear. Shield yes. gimmick, yeah. The, the look on Roman's face was just like, "You son of a bitch!" <laughs> I could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> I was so. It's like that's still in my closet too, man. I was so hoping Moxley was going to come out, man. I did I, like how I, I mentioned was, Moxley in the. I was yeah. hoping. That was cool. Ronda Rousey winning the Women's Bro Rumble. You called it. I called it. Um, we all the did. The world called it. The world called it. Yeah. She was coming back. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If she wasn't in it, I was like, shit, my pick Sasha Banks was number one. I was like, there's no way. So explain something to me here. Last night on SmackDown, from what I understand, Charlotte came out, cut a promo about... Um, the upcoming match. Then Rhonda comes out and says to Charlotte, I'm not wrestling you, I'm wrestling Be Becky. Why did Sonya Deville come out? What the hell did they need her for? They didn't She's the WWE official they don't need that her. nobody cares about they don't, at all. They don't need her. Okay. She she could have come out there and been the been the person in between with the microphone and then the girls could have grabbed the microphone from each other and then i understand i didn't see it but then i understand charlotte uh, made a comment about uh Rhonda's baby oh yeah she said this belt is my baby and it's prettier than your baby <laughs> well if you had that skunk hair that Seth you had for years <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what i know about children and uh, things like that you don't talk about babies mamas don't like that no, mm -mm. no. They'll so, look like little mutants the first three months. So, anyway. Charlotte, you might be getting your ass kicked, <laughs> girl. Rightly so. Uh, Becky Lynch defeating Dewdrop to retain the Raw Women's Championship. That didn't seem to be any surprise there, did it? No. Not at all. The, the mean, manhandle slam or whatever she calls it from the middle rope was kind of cool. I was d d very disappointed in that match. I was too. I, wanted I was Dewdrop disappointed that it was there. <laughs> I mean, what is... I think it went too long. Over two minutes? Yes. Yeah. True. I think I fell asleep. It was three in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, it didn't help that the WrestleMania sign caught on fire. Oh, yeah. That was interesting. <laughs> See, like a whole section gone. I was like, what happened? Yeah, yeah. the whole WWE is going up in flames. Uh, <laughs> so with that, Matt, where, did, where does Dewdrop go from here? Probably to her dancing gimmick Vince is trying to, like, get her stuck with. But hopefully she takes a more serious route. And I guess WWE copyrighted the Piper Niven name again. So hopefully they let her go back to her regular name and drop the stupid stuff. Can't take anybody serious called Dewdrop. You know, if, yeah. <laughs> if, I laugh every time I say it. If Vince don't like you, Vince will destroy you. And I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Yep. Why didn't he like a certain person? Because hmm. he manhandled that one real good. I'll tell you. I'll tell you off mic. Okay. Inquiring <laughs> minds would love to know. <laughs> now, the, the the whole Royal Rumble pay per view was a waste of three hours, in my opinion. Oh yeah. Four hours. Four hours. Was it four hours? Yeah. Kind of. Like I said, I'll, it was three o'clock in the yeah. morning when I'm watching it, and you know, basically. <clears throat> looking over, setting the alarm, okay, it's not going to be five minutes per person. Let's estimate this. 30 minutes. Yeah, okay, now I know. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the, free, the best part of the pay-per-view, Jimmy Hart's turn. Freaking Peacock goes out on my TV. You mean Paul Heyman's turn? Or Paul, Paul Heyman. Heyman. I was, I was like, Sorry Jimmy about Hart? that. He's permanently <laughs> stuck in old school. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like Jimmy Hart, yeah. what did I miss? Yeah. yeah. I mean, did I, I really miss a good segment? Because yeah. <laughs> bringing Jimmy Hart back would probably be a help to the WWE It right would be. Now. But Paul Heyman, freaking Peacock goes out on the TV. I have to restart Peacock. I missed that whole damn part. The best part of the whole pay-per-view. Okay, let's talk about Peacock and the WWE Network. Over in the UK, Piece it's the WWE shit. Network still. Okay, I couldn't watch it because I had a U.S. carrier-based cell phone. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I couldn't watch Peacock because it's not licensed over in the UK. So I had to go to one of those odd sites to watch it. I'm sure I'm going to get, like, you know, do, 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 do. You called into the office yeah, do, 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 exactly. do, 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 I was on my do, do. own tablet. <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty. Yeah. 
but I did get to watch it. It was, and thank you to Aaron Chapnick out there for giving me that illegal <laughs> <laughs> link we, to watch. We paper don't paper. know nothing. Yes, absolutely. Um, Speaking of the last league, Lesnar. I mean, okay, so you thought it was the best part of the whole show, Heyman just giving the belt to Roman? I don't know. I didn't get to see it. Well, all he did was Roman comes out, spares Brock. That's okay. That's good. Looks over. Yeah, yeah. that sets up the, the more heat for that. And Heyman did the heel turn. Yeah, he all, the that, Roman looks at Paul, yeah, that's and good. Paul hands that's Roman good. the belt. That's, and that's, hits, that's yeah. good. Yeah, and then Roman hits Brock I, with the belt, and you know, Bobby wins. You look, you look at the girls' matches, they were predictable. You looked at, you know, who won, who won or retained the belts, pretty much predictable. But I don't think any of us talked about Heyman doing the turn last we, week. We, we did, we, but we all thought it was too soon. We did. We all thought, I thought it was going to happen at WrestleMania. Yeah, if we thought it was too soon to do it at the Rumble. The so. grandest stage of all. Supposedly. Yeah. Supposedly. But does anybody want to see? I think you alluded to it earlier. Does anybody want to see Lesnar versus Reigns? I wanted to see at WrestleMania 31. Yeah, when it first happened. It's like Pacquiao Mayweather through two years too late. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah think, little- I think something's got to come in that nobody is expecting. You're for, never going to see that re- in social for media. For WrestleMania, though. something's got to happen, unannounced. Can you smell it? <laughs> you knew where I was going. He's like the only person that can like really sneak in and like get that pop. That no Taker in Dallas. Yeah, Taker in Dallas could do it. I would love to see the Rock and Sock oh, connection what come back. Dodge name is that? There's my man. That is the the gentleman on the Hard right. Swoggle and Vin or Vern <laughs> <laughs> the, the gentleman on the right is Sky Low Low. Yes. The gentleman on the left is Fuzzy Cupid. They were two of the most entertaining midget wrestlers. Midget wrestlers. I watched Sky Low Low. He was here at AWA at the showboat. Oh, really? Yes. Okay. In his later years, obviously. Okay. Much later years, obviously. The wings fell off? Yeah. But the that, wings fell off. Hey, they could... Thought. You know what? That was 15 or 20 minutes of... Action-packed wrestling and getting your laughs. You could laugh at those guys. And the referee, when they involved the ref, that was some great stick. Con- continue laugh. on, Chief, with the Chiefs rant. Go on. You would have got- laughed in 2021. You'd be canceled no, I, uh, immediately. We'll lead that into, since you've got the mic and you're, you're going at it right now, continue on with the Chiefs rant. That was... Uh, Go ahead. All right. Good morning, everybody. It's the chief. My three minutes of fame is now 258. You know what? I'm going to do a flip. Uh, I want to talk about the 90-day rule in wrestling. Uh, When you sign contracts with companies, you can't uh, go out and wrestle for 90 days. My opinion, that's a bunch of bullshit because it's all about the wrestlers and all about them making their livings. And Vince McMahon, I hope you're listening to me, you jabroni. Um, We had the fortunate last night of having... uh, Mr. Killer Cross come back into town after his 90-day uh, uh, set out or whatever the hell you want to call it, thanks to the WWE, the way they sign contracts and do their contracts and sh- crap. I won't use the S word. I'll just say crap. Why not? No. Nah, nah. um, you know, it was good to see Kevin in the ring last night. It was his first match, him and Scarlett coming out here. Uh, of course, we are big fans. We are family, and uh, um, I just think it's wrong. You know, I think it, I think it hurts the 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 rest. It definitely hurts the wrestlers because they're not making any money. You know, they can't get in the damn ring. Um, you know, it's it, in my mind, it's wrong. Chief spelled C H I E F. Just so you know, sir. Thank like you. Tennessee. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, uh, I, I, I hope this is taken into account as we go down the line. And, uh, you know, if you want to do some, okay, two, make it two weeks. Make it two weeks that a wrestler has to sit out before they can go back into the ring. But 90 days, three months, that's a little long. You get a little ring rust on you, and, uh, you know, it takes you t some time to get back in the swing of things. That's, that's how I feel today. And uh, So, Vince, I hope you're listening. And, uh, uh, you know, I don't know who else at uh, WWE uh, at this point in time is uh, really there. Uh, so I guess, it's, I guess, you know, Bruce Pritchard's there, but who cares about him? He's another jabroni. So uh, that's the Chiefs rant for today. Because the, the Chiefs Chief said so. Over and out. <laughs> <clears throat> well, to your point about the not, they do get paid when they're sitting at home for nothing. They do get their downtime guarantee, but they can't work anywhere. It's wrong. It is. It's dumb, but it kind of makes sense. So. After the, like, Monday Night Wars thing when, like, Ravishing Rick Rude show up on, like, Raw and then and Nitro, yeah. immediately show up to Nitro, they kind of want you to lose your burn so you're not, like, an immediate, like, yeah. top star somewhere or you yeah, have all their momentum. Look at what company. Shane McMahon did to his dad. He went from Raw to uh, um, Nitro. That, so, no, that's... It's wrong, Okay. This is wrestlers' livelihoods. This is how they make... This is what they do as their profession. Okay. Could you survive for 90 days without your job? Seriously. I mean, if you put money away, if you invest in any things like that, yeah. But the most average person nowadays doesn't have a checking account, lives check to check, and uh, you got to survive. And that's what, in my, my opinion... That's what the wrestlers need. If my downside guarantee is a security card was over a hundred grand, I could survive for three months. So, but unless you're someone <laughs> else, buy another belt. <laughs> or unless I had a girl that had an OnlyFans, and I probably never work again. <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss something? <laughs> we'll fill you in later. Okay. Anyway, it was good, to s and I'll just say, it was good to see Kevin and Scarlett last night. Glad they got in the ring. Congratulations, Kevin, on winning the Mecca belt last night. So there you go, folks. Chiefs rant's over with for the day. I think that was longer than two minutes. So next week you can't do a rant. <laughs> the Chief, Scott said so. The Chief, can do, the Chief can do what the hell he wants. And if you see I got a box in front of me, I can turn your mic off just like Half the people that. out there would say, okay, go ahead. <laughs> so, a bunch of snowballs. Two to anyway. one odds. Oh. He doesn't know which one. Yeah. Which. <laughs> Meeny, meeny, miny, mo. You know, I will say, though, in yes, all sir. honesty, that was a good independent show last night. It was awesome. Yeah. yeah absolutely awesome. <laughs> yeah. So, so we'll continue on with uh, Thomas here. Ding, ding, so, ding. Yeah, ding, ding, ding. With the uh, grit couple versus the it couple. It was there. I didn't watch it. I fast forwarded through it. Matt? <laughs> I kind of watched it. I was like updating the website while it was going on. <laughs> I, I kind of knew what was going to happen already. I, I texted and said, did Beth Phoenix get the call from the 80s? They wanted their hairdo and ha hairspray back. But, you know, the, the bangs. She saw a picture yeah. of Luna Vachon and was just like, I'm doing this. Yeah, what? and like half the people. Yeah, and, and they said it was a tribute with the. The, the veiny makeup is a tribute to Luna Vachon. But let me ask you, how many people out there know who Luna Vachon is? Not many. Exactly. Well, you and I do. I've known Luna for years because I was friends with the uh, the butcher and Mad Dog at CAC <laughs> for years. Yeah. 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 Yep. But, but today's fans, they'd have no idea who she is. Absolutely not. Well, the wrestlers today can't even wipe their damn feet off on the ringside. Before they get in the ring. Absolutely. I mentioned it to some of the youngsters last night. And it was What? They looked at me and like, what the hell are you talking about, Chief? Well, the conversation that we had in the car with an individual was, you know, how many people in wrestling now know anything earlier than Stone Cold Steve Austin? Yes. Not many. Yeah. You figure the WWE Network had like a lot of older stuff on it. They would go back and like look at it, but no. It's not the flippy 
crazy it's stuff not you the see high now. Spots. Mm-hmm. You, you know, you had a five minute headlock, you know, and a body slam and things. It's not the high spots like you mentioned that. Yeah. Where, you, know. you know, I, I, when I do go back, I, I go back watch W on the radio. I go, back, <laughs> I go back and watch. Uh, Almost got him. Shit. Bill Watts, territory, the old mid mid Atlantic NWA. Kyle Palace, San Francisco. Yep. That's what I go back and watch. And they had to footage back then? Wrestling. It was on the radio. <laughs> and you watched it. <laughs> Damn color. right I did. Oh. I put my glasses on, Dan. <laughs> We're sorry. Due to technical difficulties, our producer had another donut in his mouth. <laughs> Better than something else. Where's your cereal? Oh damn! He even got he got he even got rid of his jar of uh, M and M's he had down on the floor. They're not there no more. Damn! Everyone's just putting him on blast. The rats got to him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll continue <laughs> on with the WWE report. The WWE reports over one billion dollars in revenue in 2021. My take on that is he didn't have to do live house shows. Yep. True. My take is somebody always says, if you sell merch, you make money. Yep. Mm-hmm. And that I look when house at, shows don't make money, uh, live wrestling events do not make money. It's the merchandise. Didn't you say they're giving two for one tickets here sometime? Or they, they were doing t- that for like the Royal Rumble and yeah, yeah. And there was one show they were doing like buy one ticket get three free. <laughs> well. The interesting part is, you know, social media and the snowballs out there that, oh, I love Brian Robin Lerner and I love the AEW. Um, you know, bottom line is, oh, they're outselling. They're not outselling anybody. Who are we kidding? If you look at the arenas of AEW and you turn the cameras around, just like WWE, you're going to see an empty arena. Half yeah. empty. Mm-hmm. Half empty. It's and it, you know, the difference between WWE, they put it in an Allegiant Stadium, which holds mm-hmm. like sixty-five thousand people. Oh, hi, Aaron. Go back to the golf course. Um, <laughs> get, get in your golf cart and drive around, sir. Yes. But, but you know, don't when, hit anything. When you're booking an arena that's 60,000 people and you put in 40, okay, it's half empty. If you put in an arena that has 5,000 and you put in, you know, you have 4,000 there, um, yeah. But who's still drawing more people? WWE. I would imagine so, yeah. yeah. I, I just don't see how AEW is actually making any money, especially with the contracts. And stuff. I always laugh when, like, you see the pictures on Twitter because yeah. if, you, if you're a WWE fan, you can't like AEW, and if you're an AEW fan, you can't like WWE, it seems like, or you get roasted online. But it seems like whoever likes who will, like, run, be the first one in the arena, take the picture and be like, Oh, look, the arena's empty. Hi, oh, AEW sells more, blah, blah, blah. Because you're a keyboard warrior. Just go back to, you know, watching your online porn. Just watch all of it and be a fan and <laughs> yeah. support it. Yeah. Is wrestling's wrestling? Be- what? Mm-hmm. What? Doesn't he have a job to do? He could have been here and let me sleep. But no, <laughs> he's going to be on a golf course with a pretty lady. <laughs> and he just choked on the donut over there. <laughs> anyway, uh, you know, we're talking $1 billion in revenue. Um, everybody's talking about him selling. Uh, Explain I, the budget cuts of releasing everybody. It's all yeah, it's business. It's, yeah. it's all about the money, the brother. Well, a lot of it has to do with backroom politics. Uh, a lot of the budget cuts over this past year were due to the whole COVID thing. Yeah. Very similar to any employer, employee type thing going on. If you weren't vaccinated, and it's all in the courts and all that kind of political stuff, which we yeah. don't talk here ever. Um, but, you know, on, on camera. Um, but <laughs> so some of that had to do with that. True. Some of it had to do with who you were brought in by. Yeah. And so, yeah, there's budget cuts everywhere. The other thing is, you know what? There's so much talent on all these rosters. There's not enough screen time. No, there isn't. And so it, why pay somebody to sit in the back? How many people did we hear that WWE brought into Royal Rumble that never had even 30 seconds on camera? They were just sitting there getting paid for travel, paycheck to be at the arena, yep. hotel, yep. all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yep. It's like John Laurinaitis yeah. called and be like, oh, you haven't wrestled in 15 years or practiced anything? It's going to be in the Rumble? Cool. Come on down. And oh. I don't know if it's here yet, but the most disappointing thing I saw in the Rumble – was Lita. 
I did not like her ring work at all during the, she definitely showed age and ring rust. Well, you know, she you, got the pop, yeah. but the, the little thong you, undies weren't there. You take, <laughs> you take most of the older wrestlers, they were in the ring like 30 seconds and they got eliminated. The only one that was really in there any time was Lita. Lita, true. And Michelle that's McCool it. was in there. And Michelle. For a hot water. Right. Yeah. But well, other that than was that, in Dallas, so other than that, the rest of them, you know, they were come and gone. And, and Melina, did she eat Melina? Because, <laughs> yeah, that doubt, yeah, no. That, yeah. that was awful. Yeah. And Ivory. Yeah. But, gotta love Ivory. She gotta love, at least she came in the. Uh, you know, the in right the, to censor. Right in the to real, censor yeah. And she's 60. Yes. And never been asked to be married. No. And it was cool to see Mickey James come out with the Impact title. With the And the, the tag theme line. music and everything Everybody's else. Everybody's like, oh, it's the first time somebody has ever pulled back the curtain. No, it's not. Come on. Stop. True. Dan Severin came out with the NWA title with, you know... Didn't Rick one. Flair come with the NWA title? Well, in that like was the actually 90s? WCW title. Oh, the WCW. Or the, or the world title. Because yeah, yeah. the NWA had actually broken away from them at that time. Gotcha. But, you know, when Dan Severn came in, he came in with the NWA title. Yes. And it was announced NWA world champion. I want to ask a question. Where's Miro? He has some kind of like hamstring injury. Oh, did he? Because yeah. I was going to say, how long has it been since we've seen him on AEW? Weeks and weeks. No, oh, that's AEW. He's hurt, and he's right also home with Lana, so... Why but, leave? And Well, no. You know, I'm just... It's saying, like our former president. How do you sleep at night? You know, Naked with a supermodel. Hey, <laughs> M- Miro, you know, Miro, Miro held the belt in AEW, you know, and that's why I was just wondering. He's not on TV. He was hurt already, and he had to, like, work through the... Okay. Just to get the belt off of him. Okay. Uh, I appreciate that. Yeah, continuing on, the big news that I thought came out of the whole Royal Rumble was Shane McMahon obviously being released quietly. He didn't get his best wishes from the WWE website or anything um, because of the heat, uh, how he messed with the Rumble and how he messed with uh, trying to put himself over and put him in a better spot and possibly, you know, winning the Royal Rumble. Matt, Matt, your take on that? Is a McMahon, you kind of just assume that he wanted the spotlight. He, Daddy's not around. I watched it, and it didn't really seem like he had like that big of a thing in the Rumble. I wonder but I guess like the big thing that got him fired was messing with Bad Bunny's number. and uh, Apparently, you oh. can't mess with the rapper, but... Nope. I wonder how Shane and Triple H get along. Good question. Oh, they're Thomas? probably both in the same doghouse now. Yeah. <laughs> well, Triple H, yeah. you know, the, the, the thing with Triple H, though, and uh, something that I called probably six months ago, no one has seen Triple H in months now. And since his heart attack, his procedure, things of that nature, there's reasons, and there's also reasons why Vince is probably looking truly at selling WWE. Um, that baton can't be handed to anyone. Stephanie wants to be a mom. Yeah. And... Shane obviously can run any company into the ground because he's done four companies already into the ground. And so who does he have the baton to ha- hand it to? Nobody. Triple H isn't around anymore. They know. You you told me who. Oh, there's somebody sitting there in the wings that I'm pretty sure who's bought a, a, a ex-NFL, NFL, a USFL, XFL, whatever companies that probably is sitting there talking to Vince right now going, Oh, yeah. Um, I think I can do this. Family's owned a company before. And they still have one in, in Hawaii. Hawaii right now. So, I, in my opinion, the next person to own the WWE is Dwayne Johnson, with probably backing from Fox or NBC or yeah, Peacock. I can see something, that. You know. As I said to you yesterday, his mother is well respected in Mother's the wrestling well respect. community. The whole family was real respected, even though, you know. Rocky Johnson had his issues, you know, there towards the end. It just still, it, the, the family still got the respect. And who can turn Dwayne Johnson's money? And, I mean, that man could run for president right now and easily win because, you know, at least he can stand up. Um. Maybe, he <laughs> bu- maybe he buys the company and he makes Mick Foley uh, the man behind the scenes. Mick doesn't want anything to do with that. <laughs> you know how funny it would be if he does it before WrestleMania 39 when it's supposed to be Roman versus Rock? And he's like, 
he comes out and be like, not only are you not the head of the table, the but I own you. your bitch ass. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would be the, the best writing that they could do, and it would have nothing to do with the. But like you literally work for me. I'll tell you when it's commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me behind the chair. Uh, wait a second. I know what, what I'm. The wait, hell wait, does that wait, spell? wait, wait, wait. I kn- I know what I'm buying him for Christmas. A Funk and Wagnall dictionary. On tablets. Anyway, <laughs> I'm Scott, Matt, Chief, Thomas. We're going to be back after a quick two-minute break, and you'll obviously hear about a book you want to buy. <laughs> uh, thoughts count anywhere. One. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's no. the best podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. All your wrestling news, all your hobbit you hey, all your gimmickry. Go on over and listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! If inspiration is the beginning, where does it lead? Experience the 2021 Mazda 3 sedan and see where inspiration can take you. Grab the brass ring in a 2021 Mazda 3 with exclusive FSW discounts at Finley Mazda. Get Garth today at the Valley Auto Mall. This is John Cena. I just, I just, I just wanted to send you a congratulations on your podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. Because indeed they do. Thoughts are important. I mean, what would they, we do without them? And how can they not count anywhere? I just, is there a place that thoughts don't count? I can't think of one. Well, I just wanted to say thank you very much, congratulations, and good luck on the podcast. Thoughts count anywhere, because they do. This is the story of one man's incredible journey from 350 to 200 pound weight loss and his mission to help and inspire others. Aaron Phillips. People are praising Aaron's new book with five star reviews. Aaron's various humorous and wildly entertaining stories portray his rise as a sports announcer, his encounters with exotic and irregular entertainers on the Las Vegas Strip through his long-running Vegas Unwrapped radio show, and his contagious and positive style of pursuing success. Call now or visit our website or Amazon now to get your copy of Let My Voice Speak to You, stories from a Hall of Fame radio personality. Order now. Welcome back to Thoughts Count Anywhere. I'm Scott Hosey along with the Chief, Thomas Burnett, and Matt Mullen. Thoughts Count Anywhere staff here at the table, minus Aaron Phillips, who owes us $8 million for that two-minute commercial (laughs) about the book. Is there an audio version, sir? It'll be shorter than the commercial. Anyway, Aaron, love you, miss you. Wish you were here back in studio so I could get some some sleep. Anyway, like Ryan. Surprised you're awake for this. Where's Ryan? ABB. We're sending out the search party. Yes. <laughs> because you know what? I'm glad I said I would come in because where would we all be with Ryan? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love it. Still asleep. Still asleep. But we're going to continue on with the WWE report. We're going to go to Roman Reigns versus that headline at Saudi. It's going to be Goldberg again. Do they really want to see the dead man wrestle? I mean, because that's what he looked like last time I think he was in Saudi, wasn't it? With no, Good Taker. Uh, yeah, no taker. Between him and Taker. Was it a complete disaster? That was a disaster. Like you can't hurt zombies. the top guy of the company. So, yeah. But what, why is Goldberg even in the picture anymore? Obviously, the Saudis are buying the show. But do they have that much love for this man? I mean, they do. The Saudis do. They want the, all the old timers they can get. They don't care. There's a lot better old timers we can get. Yeah. They they are, but they love Goldberg. So that's what we get. It's lovely. It's gonna be like a three minute match of who gets the first spear. <laughs> can they just hit heads like two Rams, you know, <laughs> on a commercial or something? I, I, I can see that happening. Yes. Goldberg nope. forgets a spot. Roman's supposed to hit the spear. Goldberg goes for the spear, and then they knock each other out. Yeah. No and then Vince has a heart attack because they goes WrestleMania. Yeah, absolutely. 
Um, we're continuing on with the whole thing with Randy Orton and Riddle. Riddle was supposed to win the Battle Royal or, or Battle Royal, Royal Rumble. Yes. Um, contri- you know, I'll shout out to uh, Pat Patterson for coming out with Royal Rumble. God rest his soul, great man. Yes. I don't care what you guys think out there. You hear all the rumors about you know children and things like that. Pat was a stand-up guy. Uh, yes, he was gay. Yes, he was. Um, but he was instrumental. If people look at Vince McMahon in wrestling, when Pat Patterson was in the back of the in the arena and running the shows with him and Slaughter and a few others, they ran a lot better. Jerry oh, Briscoe. Yeah. Briscoe. Yeah, absolutely. And, Pat, to and I can tell you, I, I had the pleasure through Scott meeting Mr. Patterson, and boy, could he tell some wrestling stories. I could tell stories. But the amount I heard at that TGI Friday. Is <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. We're sitting at a table with Pat Patterson, Gerald Briscoe, Wes Briscoe, and JBO. Yep. It was crazy. And then the random wrestling fans that would like try to come up to the table and the JBL would here. just okay. the, stare the, awkwardly yeah. as shit at like, them until and, and who are you? Yeah. The, 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 the best the best story I ever had of uh, CAC <laughs> was a young man by the name of Cody. Yep. For all those locally here know uh-huh. who Cody is. Yes. Um, yes we do. He was wet behind the ears and basically not even into wrestling, so I'm, I'm the fault of that, sorry. Uh, brought him in to CAC, and he's sitting at my table. Uh, I was a board member at the time and had, you know, extra seats, so I had him there. And J.J. Dillon, one of the four horsemen. Our buddy. Uh, yep. Comes over and says, Scott, do you mind if, you know, my daughter and I sit with you guys? Said, Absolutely, J.J. I've known him for years. Sits down. Cody is a deer in headlights. And literally, he stares at his drink, J.J.'s drink, and as soon as that drink hit him, can I get you a drink? Okay. So then, before J.J. had walked over, it was just like us having a conversation here, except I don't hit the microphone. Uh, just general conversation, chit-chat, everything. is. Everybody knows Cody can talk. He's a great guy. Um, we get up in line to go to the buffet, grab our food. But right before then, he went dead silent. And I'm like, Cody, you okay? You feeling okay? And he's like, I mean, I, just the stuttering. That, 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 that's J.J. Dillon. Yeah, I've known J.J. for years. Um, he, he's sitting with us. Yes, I know. But, but but he's the leader of the Four Horsemen. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. He's a normal person, too. Have fun. But that was Cody's induction into wrestling. He did completely mark out, but give him credit. Cody is one of the better wrestlers here in Las Vegas. Yes. And, oh, for sure. And definitely um, teaches down at, at FSW. And actually, old school, God love you, Cody. Um, you've taken that old school and you brought it on. One of few people that definitely uh, still wipe their feet before they get mm-hmm. in the ring. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. So that's a quick shout out to him. But uh, getting back to, to uh, the Royal Rumble and uh, Orton right. and my s- My sister says, damn, Goldberg, go away. Yeah, everybody thinks so. It's the last match of his contract, so hopefully this is it. Is it? Yep. Yes. No, happy I would have been if Riddle would have won the freaking Royal Rumble. I don't know if I really wanted to see it for the WWE title. Maybe if Riddle would have got it. Does he buy shoes at that time? Probably not. Hey, is no. Riddle, Riddle going to go single for a little while? Because I, uh, I, you know. He's a local boy here. I heard uh, yeah. Randy's going to take some more time off. Randy Randy deserves a time off. Oh, He's most a definitely. company guy. I still remember sitting next to him and Bob, his dad, when he was like 16 years old. And just thin as a rail, little. And Bob Sr. or Bob Jr., um, sitting there and going, Scott, Vince is going to sign him and he's going to make him world champion. And I looked over at Randy and I laughed. And then we see Randy Orton today, definitely a Hall of Famer, multi-time champion, and pretty much, in my opinion, carrying the company at this point for one of the old timers, if we call it. But I, th- oh, yeah. I think Riddle's doing. R- R- I think Riddle's doing a better job now, going with Randy. He's matured. A lot more in the ring. Well, the Spicoli gimmick's going away a little bit more and more, but yeah, yeah it was a little bit, little bit much for me. Yeah. And for you all that don't know, Louis Spicoli, great wrestler, ECW Arena, Philadelphia. <laughs> a wealth of knowledge over there. Old school. Yes. So. The Spicoli driver. D- d- does Riddle and Randy have a WWE title run ahead of them? Because. 
I, is somebody going to drop a belt to either one of them? Eventually, I think Riddle will win the belt. He'll probably do it from Randy. To see Randy turning on Riddle sometime. Randy gets the, t- gets the belt. Riddle challenges for the belt and gets the big moment. I say mm-hmm. maybe next to WrestleMania, what Riddle if, gets the crowning moment. But obviously a, a turn of a heel turn of some sort, and everybody thinks Randy's going to turn. Wouldn't it be interesting to see Riddle turn, though? That would be kind of yeah, interesting. It would be, like, it would be the complete shocker. No yeah. one, no one's going to believe you know Randy turned because Randy has always been the Viper, always yeah. had that in the background. Yeah. But if you see Riddle turn, and maybe go with a Paul Heyman, that'd be pretty interesting. Yeah. Maybe become you know second on the table or you know in the high chair at least. <laughs> <laughs> but you can just get Paul Heyman and say bro one time. <laughs> oh my God. I think. Uh, Randy's going to win it one more time and then uh, call it retire. Oh, I sh- he should, you know. Yeah. Same with, you know, John Cena. Time's yes. passed. Yes. Definitely could use maybe a Randy in the background well, you know, with as Ra- a producer. You know, with Randy and the children, uh, it's, t- it's time. Cena, I could care less about. Cena can go back to Massachusetts as far as I'm concerned. You know how much I wanted him to come out as Peacemaker during the Royal <laughs> Rumble? <laughs> might, have made, might have made the Rumble a little bit more interesting. Uh, Ronda Rousey appearing exclusively on SmackDown till WrestleMania. Kind of makes sense after the last night, now that she's facing Charlotte. Okay. And Fox, I'm sure, wanted her on SmackDown. Oh, yeah. Fox is getting what they want. They got Brock oh, yeah. on SmackDown, and they got Ronda, so they're happy. Yeah. Is she really going to uh, face uh, Charlotte, or is she going to face Becky? She's facing Charlotte. She's facing they made Charlotte. it official last night. Yeah. Is anything official? So, <laughs> so then, so Until next then, week. Stay so, tuned. So then who's going to face Becky? Bianca. Bianca Belair. Probably, yeah. Bianca gets her revenge from well, SummerSlam. The, the people that were missed in Royal Rumble, Asuka. Mm-hmm. Bailey. Bailey. Asuka's still injured. They both are, but... Yeah, yeah. Th- they could have done a 30-second spot. I mean, okay. Molly Holly yeah. could have... No disrespect to Molly Holly, but, you know. No. Could have easily okay. come out. Can we please just get Molly versus Nikki at the at WrestleMania? Just it's it's fun. Just let's Mo- just, it's a fun match. Yeah. Molly versus Nikki. Yeah, Mighty Molly versus the almost superhero villain. I just want to see Nikki get a phone call. Why? From John Laurinaitis. <laughs> <laughs> You're bad. Yes. <laughs> Hello. You're bad, son. God, I got the accent. I was only over there a week. <laughs> Good day, Hello, mate. Governor. Good, Good day, matey. All right, so are we going to take... Can I have uh, a are we bother him on it? Every time I look over, he's oh, doing something else, but playing oh, with the boy. Sorry. Are we going to take our top of the morning break here? Okay, top of the morning? Can, top of the morning. Oh, my God. Top or of the hour. <laughs> or the bottom, top of the hour break. Top of the morning over here. Yes. And over there, it's the bottom of the afternoon. We're going to continue on with the WWE report. <laughs> and wait for Aaron Phillips to... Uh, do his commercial. But uh, <laughs> with that being said, if you want to call in 702-329-6947, press one. If you're international, good day, matey. It's 855-502-4321. Press one. With that being said, we're going to go to a quick break at the top of the hour. And uh, we'll be back in about five minutes. One. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's no. the best podcast ever. Thoughts count anywhere. All your wrestling news, all your hobbit you hey, all your gimmickry. Go on over, listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! Inspiration is the beginning. Where does it lead? Experience the 2021 Mazda 3 sedan and see where inspiration can take you. Grab the brass ring in a 2021 Mazda 3 with exclusive FSW discounts at Finley Mazda. Get Garth today at the Valley Auto Mall. This is John Cena. I just, I, just, I just wanted to send you a congratulations on your podcast, Thoughts Count Anywhere. Because indeed they do. Thoughts are important. I mean, what would they, we do without them? 
And how can they not count anyway? I just is there a place that thoughts don't count? I can't think of one. Well, I just wanted to say thank you very much. Congratulations and good luck on the podcast. Thoughts count anywhere because they do. This is the story of one man's incredible journey from 350 to 200 pound weight loss and his mission to help and inspire others. Aaron Phillips. People are praising Aaron's new book with five star reviews. Aaron's various humorous and wildly entertaining stories portray his rise as a sports announcer, his encounters with exotic and irregular entertainers on the Las Vegas Strip through his long-running Vegas Unwrapped radio show, and his contagious and positive style of pursuing success. Call now or visit our website or Amazon now to get your copy of Let My Voice Speak to You, stories from a Hall of Fame radio personality. Order now. Welcome back to Thoughts Count Anywhere. Scott Hosey, Chief, Thomas Burnett, that was Pat a fail. Mullen. <laughs> okay, fans, we're back. Yeah, we've, we're, we're, we're back. We're done with the run sheet for the day. Thank yeah, you for tuning exactly. in, and we're out of here. We're, we're here at the Go Live Studios in Las Vegas, this beautiful facility that state-of-the-art. And we have fun every Saturday. Absolutely. He's making so much money here. He has a new car, courtesy of Finley Mazda. <laughs> <laughs> Doink. Where are we going? Just He's got his hand on something. Where, where the hell are we going? Over there. I'm waiting. Yeah. We've done that. We've done that. We've done that. I'm jumping all over the place. WWE. The interesting part. And I know this is a shock for everyone in the world. I never saw this coming. Ric Flair split up with his wife. You know, I read something Shocker. that they were never married. Oh, no, they weren't. No. You know? He has no money. Wonder if Vince is <laughs> half uh, a half a half a nothing I, is not much. Nothing, yeah. I wonder if I hope he's not um, partaking in the vibes again. He needs to stay away from that. <laughs> <laughs> the day he stops Ric Flair is the day he gets buried. Yeah, <laughs> and during the eulogy, <laughs> it's going to be like Charlie Harper. From two and a half men, he's gonna go out with a bang. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I uh, I worry about him, but hey, that's Mr. Flair. All I can tell you is the stories I've heard hanging around with the horsemen, and one of the first questions I asked was, you know, to one of them, I'll leave it out there. Um, are all the stories true? And it was, um, it cost me three wives myself. <laughs> Yes, I saw that out of the corner of my eye. Okay. I like when you're trying to get them like together, and everyone's like, "I'm not watching Rick." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> during AEW, obviously, I was with the Horsemen during that time, and uh, you know, I'm not saying I was a babysitter by any stretch, but I was there just to you know keep everybody company, keep everybody in line. But everybody was like, "Is Rick showing? Is Rick showing? Is Rick showing?" Every every one of them looked at me and said, "I'm not responsible for him <laughs> anymore." <laughs> I like hanging around JJ. JJ's a great guy. Absolutely great guy. Um, stories, great attitude, and a very good gentleman. Oh, yeah. Yeah. JJ's from Trenton, New Jersey, originally. Went to Trenton S Central High School, where they had copper rain gutters and downspouts. And the drug addicts used to steal them off the off to high school. Didn't we already do and that go melt, segment and go melt up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and you know, it's funny because I was talking to JJ one time and I said, hey JJ, you ever wrestle at Moose Hall? He says, yeah, Chief. He said, I did. And uh, I said, you ever meet Hapton Annie? He said, yeah, I used to get stuck in the ass all the time by her. And uh, he said one night, him and um, Ron Bass were wrestling up there, and a riot broke out. It was right around Christmas time, and an actual riot almost started. In he said, I had to run out of Moose Hall in my wrestling gear, 
back down to the Trenton Army, and I had to send somebody back to get my but clothes the, and the stuff. The good old days are the good stories of how the wrestlers used to exit the arena quickly. And, yep. You know, the fact that they truly used to be abused and oh, yeah. things thrown at them, injured. Yep. Uh, the stories of, you know, you see the stories now. So, you know, somebody jumps Seth Rollins at ringside. That was a daily occurrence. Or, <clears> you know, if they do the double shot on, you know, Sunday morning, Sunday evening, Saturday, da, da, da. How many uh, times did Roddy Piper get stopped? Yeah, absolutely. Could you imagine if, like, one of those old school wrestlers would have been like, "Oh, I was terrified when a fan came in," like what Seth Rollins said at the airport. Oh my God! Yeah, <laughs> I almost lost my mind. I watched okay. it on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bailey and Oscar obviously weren't in the uh, Rumble, but they're likely to return before WrestleMania 38. What program do you put them in, Thomas? Against each other? Might as well, because the championship matches are already already set. Uh, yeah, make them a tag team. Tag team of those Ooh. two, yeah. No. Matt? Did anybody see Randy and Riddle becoming a formidable tag team? Entertaining? Not really, but they did. They could work with Bailey and Oscar. I gotta hear Oscar scream even <laughs> more. <laughs> so does Oscar. The only one he wants to hear scream is Alexa Bliss. <laughs> so does Oscar. So, <laughs> d- <laughs> so does Oscar go bad or does Bailey turn face? Bailey face was much better, I thought. Well, Bailey's going to get the baby face pop when she comes back, so... Oh, yeah. Bailey will? Yeah, I guess she's been gone for a year. But she, when she left, she was a heel, wasn't she? Yeah, that's how it always goes. When you leave as a heel, but, but then when you're out for a year with injury, you always come back as a baby face. It was like Triple H back in the day when he, like... Yeah, like 2001. Broke he left. people's arms and did yeah. all sorts of crazy shit, and then he came back like he was Superman. Yeah. He left in 2001 with a quad tear. Came back in January at the Garden. Massive pop. People lost their minds when he came yeah. out. That was crazy. Yeah, definitely. Short return from injury, which, you know, obviously is worth that, worth edit. And definitely want to make sure he's healthy, wealthy, and wise right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only well, I'm, sure grace. St- I'm sure Stephanie's uh, taking good care of tr- hand, handling things. Yeah. What up, though? It is the game. Uh, <laughs> yeah. well, one person that you mentioned, and I'm flashing back to, you said Mick Foley. You know, taking yes. a general manager slot, you know, if the baton is handed to either a different company. One person that has always been left out of the p- picture that's matured over the years, Shawn Michaels. Yeah, he's still running NXT. Yeah. Like, they said, since, like, Triple H has been gone, it feels like NXT really hasn't missed a beat with Shawn Michaels, like, at the helm of everything, so. The wrestling's still there. The whole gimmick of the, co- you know, color crayon Crayola logo and that needs to go away. Like we were talking about earlier, if like The Rock was to take over, mm-hmm. I could see like him putting like certain people in like the business side, but yeah. the I can see him side. putting like Shawn Michaels or somebody like in his little circle of like wrestling friends in charge of the wrestling stuff. And mm-hmm. Well, it's like I said to Scott yesterday when we were talking about it. If The Rock was to buy the company, who would he put in as to run the day-to-day operations. I, I, I gave Scott three names, actually four. Fo- Mick Foley, Undertaker, Stone Cold, and Sean. I think the only one there is logical would be Sean. Taker, yeah. you know, Taker doesn't, you know, really, he wants to be family. Um, you know, Foley has his comedy, book writing, things of that nature now. Um, plus, you want to keep less political. You, I think Sean would probably be the, the person to run the day-to-day operations. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, Mickey James came out, coming out to the biggest pop of the night, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinion, for the Rumble with the Impact Bell. We talked about it earlier. Um, you mentioned in your, in your run sheet here, does that open the door for other people? I mean, is that curtain turned away? I mean, I've always said that Vince actually has some influence into AEW. Yeah. Um, because Tony Khan can't run a wrestling organization. He can't run a football team, which is the easiest sport to run. You get all this <laughs> money and you can't run the Jaguars? Come on. Um, I've, I've been lobbying for it for a long time. Yeah. I think they ought to cross promotion, and it would make for good product. And everybody's going to you know, uh, give credit to um, Impact, and he's also going to give credit to uh, AEW for doing the whole run with the Good Brothers and uh, yeah. Kenny Omega. But to be honest with you, 
What's good competition? Is is making good competition? What makes better ratings? Good competition. Yeah. That's why I've always thought Vince has had some you know feelings into it. Um, you know, people don't like Vince now. Uh, Vince is you know past his prime. He's ninety you know plus years old, and you know the way he looks right now is not good. Uh, but the, the situation mm-hmm. is, um, people seem to forget. Without Vince McMahon, there would be no impact. There would be no AEW. Nope. Yeah. True. And so you got to give credit where credit is due. Stop bashing him. But do you see anything cross promotion wise coming anytime soon? No, I don't. I think it was just, they needed one off. Yeah, one. They needed bodies for the rumble, and that's it. But why not just have a shorter rumble instead of thirty? Have fifteen. Because do, or the, do a tag team rumble. Well, tag team cool. rumble. Tag team rumble. What the, tag teams? They well, did. You have. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah, yeah, you have yeah, Usos and New Day, and the Viking Raiders, yeah. and then yeah. But the thing, Bros. the thing is, with Mickey, and 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 I'm going to play the devil's advocate now. I like Mickey. Don't get me wrong, but they didn't need to bring Mickey in. Okay, they had enough talent down at NXT that they could have brought up for the Royal Rumble. Yeah, where was Rumble. Mandy? Uh, okay, Mandy coming in with the NXT belt would have been awesome. Oh yeah. So. That's just my take on it, okay? Um, and I'm going to go, Molly Holly, out. Uh, what's her name? The one with the bad face? The other <laughs> 20. <laughs> Kelly? Huh? Like 20 of them? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> out. Ivory, out. Bring the girls up from Gonzalez. Uh, How was Raquel Gonzalez not in the Royal Rumble? Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Mandy Rose, the other Thank top you. toxic attraction, Dakota Kai. Thank you. Cora Jade would have been cool. They could have brought those those young ladies up, gave them their first flash of glory, in the you know one of the big stages, let them get their feet wet. Did but you hear what our, our great uh, fan of the show Nia Jack said? Yeah, something. Oh, they tried to call her to go back, and she was like, "Uh, no." They tried to call the Iconics too, and they were like, "Uh, no." Why is that, though? And why would Mickey go back? Just because she was champion and she could rub it in their face. I think yeah. Vince was paying her back. Yeah. Yeah. You know, no doubt about it. Jen McCord, good morning from Hawaii, hon. Hope you're having a good day over AEW there. AEW releases gameplay for WWE 2K22. I got that all out in one sentence. You can, game talk, looks you, epic. you can talk about it. I don't know nothing about that. I can't that. wait for that game to come out. It's it going to be like so it. much fun. Why? What, what makes it different this time than last year? You two nerds can play it. <laughs> the last one that came ah. out with was 2K20, and there was a lot of problems with it. With Way like too many. Play and, and then COVID hits. All the other stuff. The, yeah. you know, <laughs> the COVID version. I want to ask you guys something. There's it's been, not on Atari. Sorry, there, Kim. There, <laughs> there's been games come now, come now, come now. You just said, well, there was problems with 2K20. You would think that these technical geniuses that develop these games could make them so that there aren't problems. By now, think. by now, how many years of, you know? What level of pong are you on? So, <laughs> I've got <laughs> one. He's got the two version. <laughs> I got one of those damn he- handheld things, man. You used to. It's called a calculator. No, uh, <laughs> it's new to it's, you. What is it? Icubus, <laughs> whatever they called before that. A Bacchus. <laughs> Abacus. Abacus, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> I used to want, never mind. Any, anyway, we know. We know. I mean, that's, you know, that's how I look at it. You spend millions of, di- and I'm sure, am I wrong, millions no, of right. dollars for these games? Many millions, you yeah. Would, you would think. I know a father who sat out in the rain at 3 o'clock in the morning for a Nintendo Switch for his daughter. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, but no, I mean, I'm being serious. You, you would think that they would be able to... Um, Fix things before they ever Windows come, what version before they ever <laughs> come out to the general public then they have errors then you have to get the the uh, add-on to correct the errors so it's all about the money it's not about Windows the consumer ME had to be put out <laughs> worst, worst operating system in it's like AEW they're coming out with a new game and they're already they're non-profitable and they've dumped like 10 million dollars into this game so they better pray. Oh, yeah. Your boy says he needs some news about the game. I don't know what the heck he's talking about. Does he about. mean video game? Does he mean the game? Does he mean the game he plays all the time? <laughs> <laughs> Do 
it's time to play the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, makes a lot of sense. Basically, uh, like you mentioned, you know, with the AEW coming out with their quarterly, yearly profit loss was a huge loss. And then WWE comes out with a $1 million, poof, you know, into billion. the plus. $1 billion, excuse me, yeah. And people are like, oh, AEW is doing much better. Yeah, look at the pocketbooks. And now they've well, got... Well, like, WCW was, like, out. They didn't make... Bischoff said they didn't make money until, like, the first, like, five, six years, something like that. Well, a lot they of them... like, the first dollar that they ever well, made. Well, that was Ted Turner <laughs> throwing, you know, he wanted a wrestling organization if you uh, watch the documentary. And true. Ted, Ted Turner was like that. And Ted Turner had more money that he could throw away. Why do you think Jane Fonda was there? Um... You know, just basically multi-billionaire and have wanting something to do. Tony Khan's doing the same thing, and he's running it wrong. He's yeah. going to end up in a poor house, sort of like Ted Turner. Did. Like yeah. a but WWE getting sold. Tony Khan and his dad technically have enough money to do it. Do you think if like the offer was there, Vince would honestly sell WWE to AEW? No, that's an no. Ego, that's an ego thing. Uh, that's an ego thing. You know, you would think though, with the people that are behind the scenes at AEW that are knowledgeable about the wrestling business, mm -hmm. that they would go to Mr. Khan and say, you're doing this wrong. This is how it should be done. No, they won't now because the wrestlers today are looking at their paycheck. And... You know, they're, they're not looking at history. They're, they don't know history. I'm not um, even talking. Very few. To but but the, the problem is it's it's attitude era and up is what they're looking at. Or what can you do for me? Yep. I want my high spot. I want my camera time. It's me, 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 me. And That's a new generation. And even Why if it's only a year, I want my high spot. Exactly. And, and whereas the older wrestlers, okay, how can we work this program and get a year out of this so we both get a pay paycheck yeah. and a payday for a year. AEW is a little better with uh, like long term storytelling more than uh, both are horrible. Like to a point like the only a little. long time storyline that I think AEW had was the Jericho uh, MJF. Yeah. Which lasted almost nine months. True. But everything else is what can we do in the first ten minutes and end it in a cage match at the end of the show yeah. because I have actually been told by wrestlers that the management in the Hollywood eyes think that wrestling fans are stupid and their attention span is about two hours, which is the length of the show. They don't remember history. They don't remember the last, you know, ask a general wrestling fan what happened four weeks ago in Raw. They have no idea. No. Yeah. It's I don't no, even have any idea what happened four weeks ago in yeah, Raw. But the situation is, I mean, you've had programs in history run two and three years. Look how long... Um, Blanchard and uh, Magnum TA lasted. Yeah. It lasted almost two years. Dusty and Rick. Dusty and Rick. I mean. Rick and Steamboat. Ganya and yep. Backwinkle. Yep. You know, yep. years. And then playing games with, you know, even being ownership and things like that. It lasted years. And now it's two hours and you're done. True. So no. for you with like Arn Anderson, Tully Blanchard, and all them in his ear, they would be. Well, that, unfortunately, and that's what they, I'm they, talking they about. They have no say. They literally, and it's been told to me, they come in, they get their paycheck, and leave because yeah. there's no talking to them. They don't listen. Ah, uh, yeah. It's a shame. Yeah. That is a shame, because there, <laughs> those two gentlemen you just mentioned got a wealth of knowledge, brother. A oh, wealth yeah. of knowledge. Oh yeah. You know, somebody who, uh, you know, obviously knows the family, and you know. One young lady who, to me, is probably one in the top five wrestlers right now. Oh, yeah. hell yeah. Um, Matt's other, besides Alexa Bliss. Yeah. Uh, yep. But, you know, obviously, she, <laughs> learned, she learned a lot from Dad, listening to Dad, watching Dad, things oh, of yeah. that nature. I still remember Tully, you know, sitting at dinner with Tully and saying, you know, all the kids, you know, daughters and son, nobody interested. He goes, not a single one of them was interested in being a wrestler. Not a single one. one Except... At the Hall of Fame speech, he's with the horseman. Obviously, he's looking at his family, talking about, you know, his induction. He said he looked at Tessa, and her eyes sparkled. And she, he saw her looking around the crowd saying, you know, to herself, I kind of like this. Poof, a star is born. I, yeah. I wonder if she got to see Granddad wrestle. I think she was too young. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
Joe Blanchard, yeah, yeah. too. Because don't forget, you know, when Joe had his uh, organization, people seem to forget that Down in T- Houston. Tully actually was a referee longer than he was a wrestler. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Started as a referee. Like all wrestling kids and students should. You should I was today years old when I knew Tully Blanchard was a referee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying you to need to start off at building the ring and working ringside, selling programs like Tully did, selling popcorn, and learn the business side, then become the wrestler, and you're not doing a high spot in the first five minutes of your training session. You so. know, and, and, and everybody thinks that it was Tully and Arn. You know, that was the tag team. Tully got his start in ring with Gino Hernandez. Yeah. That's who he. Yeah. That's who guy gave him the push, and, and taught him. And do you know who Dusty actually credited for Dusty being more than a five minute, just gimmick match, was Tully, because when Tully and him had their run, yep. Tully said we're going sixty minutes, yep. and Dusty's like, what? I'm only been booked for five minutes. I'm more of a character as the redneck. Yeah. Um, he made Dusty go sixty minutes. 45, 30, he, longer, longer matches, which actually then people took more notice in Dusty long term. So he actually gave Tully a lot of credit for that. One of the nice. best heels in put history. Pe- put people in the seats. Yeah, absolutely. We look, hey, look at Steamboat and Flair's 60-minute matches. Go, and if you don't know what we're talking about, go back on WWE. No, I can't anymore. It's got to be YouTube at this point. Or YouTube or uh, Peacock. 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 Yeah, piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, look at uh, Kurt Henning. Who does he credit for showing that he can? Is Nick Bockwinkel yep. when they had their sixty-minute yep. match here at the Showboat, one of the bloodiest matches I was ever at. And Nick told me later on when I became his friend um, that you know Kurt actually did bust his head open. It wasn't a. It was. Know, it was on the, uh, the tur- ring post. The ring post. He yeah. wasn't. You know, he's supposed to get his hand up, didn't get his hand yeah. up, and actually split his head. Yep. And Ooh. that was like five minutes into the match, and they're in the corner, and Nick says, "Hey, kid, do you think you can really go?" And he he did what his dad did, you know, with you know, Larry. He's like, "Yeah, we're going." Yeah. And that was the one of the bloodiest matches, and it wasn't supposed to be, you know, in a cut or anything like that. That was the legitimate injury, and yeah. Wow. So that that showed Kurt, you know, that he could go sixty minutes with losing that amount of blood too. Yep. So. Santino Morello announces his daughter has signed with WWE. She's been a social media icon now for a couple years. <laughs> who would have thought that that's his daughter? I, um, I have no idea who it is. Matt, I'm pretty sure I you I looked do. it up. I was like, <laughs> whoa. He came, she came out of that? <laughs> let me, let me, a little taller, you're trying to say? L- let so, me, yeah. Google, let yeah. me Google this. Oh, my God. You're going to give poor Chief a heart attack. Thomas, you obviously know who his daughter is. I honestly is. don't know. Oh, really? No. Matt? I'll pull up the picture. Yeah. Let's, let's see if our, uh, our crack, producer. crack producer can look up Santino Morello's daughter. And all I can wait is with bated breath. And yep. That's all we can do is yeah, wait. Yeah, exactly. Well, we've got three people looking it up. Yeah, exactly. And I'm going to read the run sheet. Oh, my God. If he listens to his shows. Santino Morello. And while we do this... Not black and white. While we do this, we'll mention Power Play Sports Collectibles over at the... There we go. Pa- uh, Boulevard Mall. Thank you. We've got a show coming up on February 18th, 19th, and 20th at the Boulevard Mall. Sports card, toys, and collectibles show. And uh, yeah, Matt is like, <laughs> hello. Hello. <laughs> You're going to catch a virus off that computer. <laughs> <laughs> Worth it. Hub, <laughs> Definitely hubcap material. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Views and opinions yeah. <laughs> are those of, of Chief. Chief at Thoughts yes. Count Anywhere. You're like, can I save the 35 millimeter of this? <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so, I, so while we're waiting for, yeah, I got a, for our I got a new hubcap. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Are you going to show our uh, viewers? Yeah. Who? Okay. He's, he's getting there. Yeah. That's not what we've been told. How about that one? 30 seconds or less? Uh, yeah. 30 seconds. Yeah. That's my new hubcap. Santino Morales. Hubcap daughter, number one. WWE. Oh, look. Nothing wrong with that. 
Did I say there was something wrong with that? <laughs> He's assuming, with, just like fake news. With her, <laughs> with her looking like that, I hope she has a better gimmick than Santino, and she really wrestles. A sock on the hand? She can put a sock on something. <laughs> oh. I, 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 I tossed that across the room, and you just took, <laughs> as Chris Byrne would say, back, 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 gone. gone. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, let's go on to AEW because we got a half hour. And, uh, because we, still we can. Got, we got, still got uh, two That's pages. Uh, MJF defeated CM Punk, making Punk's first loss in his hometown of Chicago. And they all know who my opinion of CM Punk is. I was going to say, I'm sure you weren't disappointed nah, in that like, one. You know, Nia Jax leading. I could that, was, that was a good sell job. And you know what? Good sell? Yeah, <laughs> a good sell job. Wasn't that what he did in the UFC? Sold twice? That was, that was a play on words there. In so. quick manner. <laughs> in quick manner, yeah. Did but he actually last a, a, a one round? No. No. No, he wasn't. I know the first one. I think match. the second one he might have. I think he mm. lost in the second. Yeah, because Dana White said, we could have had camera you know, film footage or something. <laughs> you can't play your whole fight on a TikTok. <laughs> I'm surprised they went through the match. I thought they were going to just... The ring introduction was longer than CM Punk's <laughs> <laughs> UFC career. Well, I thought they would like, save it for the pay-per-view that, they're com- that they got coming up, which is that has nothing announced yet, but... I'm sure next week the first match is going to be announced, CM oh, Punk versus MJF. Yeah. Like, well, you choked me out. Yeah, he lost yeah. twice. I'm just, I'm not a big CM Punk. It's more gimmick and social media, in my opinion. I've never been a big supporter of his. His ring work, in my opinion, sucks. But Sells merch. Yeah, he does sell merch. That's about it. Yeah. See, you like Snowballs, I, snow, I snowflakes, snowballs will buy him all the time. Uh, Killer Cross hints at joining AEW. That's news to me. <laughs> I'm sure you would be in the know, but. <laughs> yeah. Inquiring minds, hey. EF Hutton. Wait, 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 wait. I saw like five who, or six. Who the hell's articles. your source on that one? I saw like five or six different articles, and he was like hinting in an interview that he might want to join AEW. But knowing him, he freaking hints at everything because he don't want anybody to know what he's doing. EF Hutton said. <laughs> I know. Well, since two people were certainly <laughs> hanging out with a certain. Yeah. I, I know somebody that knows somebody, that knows and somebody. that's farthest man. Uh, <laughs> All right. So that's with false. That. He's not going there now. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing on, Matt Cordona won the Digital Media Championship on Impact this week. That Damn. title made no goddamn sense nope. unless Matt Cardona <laughs> yep. or Chelsea you, Green you had You know it. what? That reminds me of the 24-7 title. That's what it reminds me of. Sorry. What happened to the 24-7 title? Uh, what's your name, Scott? Dana, Dana Brooke still Yeah, it's yeah. Dana Brooke, and they can't do nothing with it. No. Nope. Nobody can. No. no, I like what Matt Cardona posted with like him and Hawkins in the like Hammerstein ballroom, and he's like, "Oh man, I wish WWE didn't fire us. We'd still be chasing the twenty four seven title." <laughs> It'd be long as your as long as your uh, Intercontinental Championship was, <laughs> as Moose would say. And then he's done more f- on the independents than WWE. Yeah, yeah, he has. He's yeah. like the king of the independents now, and now he just booked the match with. Trevor Murdoch going after the NWA yeah. title. Well, you got. There's a good chance he might win that too. I was gonna too. say he could get the belt off Trevor. I mean, uh, but okay. With that being said, King of the Indies does that mean anything anymore? Except to a small niche of people. Just a small niche of people. To a small niche of people, it's a big thing. Yeah. But does but that? Does that? It's he's selling tickets. Or these GCW selling tickets. They're. People are paying to see him. Yeah. People but, are buying his stuff. But here's the thing. There's buying tickets and there's being profitable. For the amount of money he charges to come in, and I know that number, to, to work a match, is it really being profitable for the independent wrestler? For instance, you know, Joe DeFalco, FSW, he and I go way back. I mean, the, way, way back um, before he even started FSW here. Yeah. Simple dollars. Joe knows them. You know, he knows what break-even point is and what makes money, butts and seats. There yeah. is a – you could bring in the Stone Cold Steve Austin and still lose money. You can bring in The Rock and still yeah. lose money. But you bring in a Matt Cordona for the amount of money that they're you're paying for that and Chelsea Green to come to an appearance, is it really putting that much 
especially for an indie show, making that promotion money? Or is it just a flash in the pan? As you say, is it profitable? Yeah. That's what it boils down to. There are too many indies out there. There's way too many indies. And people are throwing away money left and right. True. It's like the indies here. You can bring in like a cross and draw in like a big crowd. And then the next crowd with like nobody on it, it's the same FSW crowd that shows up to everything. Well, no. I so mean, it doesn't Joe like grow their audience. Seats last night. I yeah, can't give for sure. Credit, you, you, know. you know, if you look at it, and I'll, I'll just say this real quick. If you look at last night's show, Kevin was there. Jacob Fatu was there. Hammerstone was there. There's another guy that was there. Oh, yeah. The okay. guy that I don't deal with. Okay. They are on TV. That AEW were. couldn't use either. No. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. You know. <laughs> you know. And I'm not, mention, I'm not mentioning his name. Okay. I'll just leave that alone. Didn't there used to be a cage over there? Yeah, yeah. somewhere. <laughs> uh, okay. So anyway, um, you know, you look at it, and they're the guys that are putting the people in the seats. Yeah. My, uh, you know, t the name that I remain nameless, when that match started, my wife left. She went home. She didn't watch that match. So that tells you well, something. Well, I mean, I, I, I'll take Joe as a, um, an example, and then we'll go to commercial break. Okay. Because uh, I'm being yelled at in my ear or video, whatever. Eat another donut. Yeah, eat, yeah. it'll take him a few minutes. What was, that? <laughs> what was this little hand thing over here? Okay. Um, but, you know, Joe knows dollars. And oh, yeah. It, it, he makes more. People put, he put over 450 people in butts and seats last night. I give him credit for that. There Without were, photos. Yeah, there, were, there were no chairs left, literally. Nice. They, they were out of chairs. And huge crowd, um, great matches. I give him a hell of credit, him and Rocky, FSW, and the whole crew. Now, very similar to WWE. They can put on an Allegiant Stadium show. Where do they make money? In the house shows that they did either at the FSW, FSW Arena or when WWE was running out of, you know, the, the dome, you know, where they set yeah. up stuff. You know, people don't realize money is in merchandising. And, True. you know, does GCW and that have any merchandise out? No. 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 So are they just throwing money away with bringing in a Matt Cardona and things like that? Seems um, like it. It just helps Matt Cardona because he has, like, all his own merch and everything yeah. else. So. He, he just goes straight he for... He is the marketing tool. It's yep. not... You, you he's know, his own indie. marketing. Exactly. Exactly. And that's where he's making his money. And the smart... Uh, the same with the Good Brothers. You yeah. know? You know, they're, they're out there doing the, the podcast yep. and selling their own merch. They're doing more for themselves than the organizations are doing. And with that, we're going to take a quick commercial break. Courtesy of Aaron Phillips, The Voice, in his book, which you'll hear about in the next three minutes. <laughs> and once again, Power Play Sports Collectibles over at the Boulevard Mall. And that's all I get to do to do the show. We'll be back. This is the story of one man's incredible journey from 350 to 200 pound weight loss and his mission to help and inspire others. Aaron Phillips. People are praising Aaron's new book with five star reviews. Aaron's various humorous and wildly entertaining stories portray his rise as a sports announcer, his encounters with exotic and irregular entertainers on the Las Vegas Strip through his long running Vegas Unwrapped radio show and his contagious and positive style of pursuing success. Call now or visit our website or Amazon now to get your copy of Let My Voice Speak to You, stories from a Hall of Fame radio personality. Order now. This is John Cena. I just, I, just, I just wanted to send you a congratulations on your podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. Because indeed they do. Thoughts are important. I mean, what would they, we do without them? And how can they not count anywhere? I just, is there a place that thoughts don't count? I can't think of one. Well, I just wanted to say thank you very much. Congratulations and good luck on the podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. Because they do. It's not the worst podcast ever, is it? It's no. the best podcast. Thoughts count anywhere. All your wrestling news, all your hobbit hey, all your gimmickry. Go on over, listen wherever your podcasts are downloaded. The Thoughts Count Anywhere podcast. I'm the big LG Doc Ellis. That's my endorsement. Booyah! 
If inspiration is the beginning, where does it lead? Experience the 2021 Mazda 3 sedan and see where inspiration can take you. Grab the brass ring in a 2021 Mazda 3 with exclusive FSW discounts at Finley Mazda. Get Garth today at the Valley Auto Mall. Welcome back to Thoughts Count Anywhere. Chief, Thomas, Matt, I'm Scott, Aaron running the board, Aaron Phillips somewhere in a golf course selling books. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to get blasted oh, yeah. my phone. Is yeah. All right. I'm wondering if you can even get out of the damn golf cart. <laughs> More Jason. That was pretty good. More Jason. Hi, Jason. What's up? <laughs> Tony got, Tony Khan says the Forbidden Door will be opening again very soon. Matt, take that away. Huh? I was reading a comment. What did you just say? <laughs> Tony, Tony Khan said Thomas, the Forbidden Door will be opening again very soon. What is the Forbidden Door? I could see Wasn't him it doing it. Back in the 70s. Oh, never I, I only know radios. What it's the featured hell? right after the casting couch. <laughs> the casting I mean, couch. so he's going to open up the forbidden door. That's not even forbidden anymore for AEW, but I'll who's he going to bring in? It's just a revolving door for yeah. AEW, really. So who's he going to bring in? Okada? That would be awesome. I mean, I don't but see anybody. I can see. There was like a video that came out when he was like trying to, he came out during the crowd and like trying to hype Rampage. And he was like, Rampage is going to be awesome. Kind of hinting at like RVD coming. But it's How, not really. That, a, that's at the Forbidden Door. I'll say that's not really a Forbidden Door thing. He's, he's a like free a free agent. agent. Yeah. yeah. I, the only thing could be uh, for Japan or, or the Briscoes. I mean, I guess yeah. the Briscoes really want to be Forbidden Door, but I mean. <laughs> They're unemployed right now. It's got to be somebody that's like it's gotta be physically some, under contract. It's got to be someone somewhere. from Japan. It's got to be someone from Japan. Probably. Or it'd be like Keith Lee. They said somebody's going to debut on Wednesday, so I could see it being like. Yeah, but that's not the Forbidden Door. Keith Lee with all these. Maybe it's Mickey. Maybe Mickey's going to AEW. Mickey's coming back. Again. Okay. With Minnie. <laughs> <laughs> So that ties into the top name will debut on Dynamite. Who do you think that is, Matt? I gave you time, right? I think it's going, uh, okay. no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's either Keith Lee or I don't see it being cross without some kind of random videos coming out or RVD? something. Cross, not cross. Uh, RVD can't figure out how to get there. <laughs> Then it's only Keith Lee, unless it's someone from Japan. I would say Keith Lee, yeah, for sure. The Great Muta. Bearcat. <laughs> the Great Muta. You knew saying Japan, he was going to say the oldest Japanese yeah, person you yeah. could think of. <laughs> Giant Baba's dead, okay. <laughs> what about Fujinami? Is he still alive? No. <laughs> no, Antonio's passed away, so I, I say uh, Fuji, that's who I say. He can so still go. Away. Away. <laughs> <laughs> he, can, oh. he can spray the mist in your face, and you wouldn't see shit, son. Just do like you do it better than Alistair Black when hell, everybody yeah. in the Hell chest. yeah. Hell yeah. Where do you think Alistair Black got the thing from? From Muta. That was Muta stick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was before that. But oh, yeah, going into all these wrestlers complaining about other people stealing their gimmick. Yeah, come on. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, come on. Pass it on. Yeah. There's only so Please. many moves you can do. Yeah. So True. Yeah. There's only so much flippy shit. Yeah, flippy shit. <laughs> I like that flippy shit. I hate flippy shit. They late in a dollar short. You ain't, that's He's not, not clicking wrestling. up on the button. It's like getting out there, isn't it? I don't care. Stick the button in your ear. There's no beep. I wanted a beep. All right, Brian Kendrick pulled for Shit. the dynamite hours before the show after comments from a 2011 interview that were deemed offensive. 2011. How many wrestling fans were? Are, you know, seriously. Let, let's. Isn't there a statue of limitations? No, not no more. Huh? Not if it's on the That's internet. John Gruden. Seven years. 
Statue, statue of limitations, seven years. Oh, unless you're president. Ask the exactly. Raiders. <laughs> you can say shit back say in the again, 70s Matt? that you don't have to stand up for now. I didn't hear what you said, bro. <laughs> so unless you're most Raiders. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, from 11 years ago, get over it. I mean, it was, it was wrong what he said, but. Uh, do you know what he said? I read it, but I don't remember. I don't know what he said. It was like a bunch of conspiracy theory yeah. stuff saying, like, some school shootings were hoaxes. Yeah. And oh. There was a hologram that went in the World Trade Center. It wasn't an airplane and stuff like that. Well, let, let, me, re, let me rebut something. <laughs> Miss, Mr. Kendrick, just so you know, I uh, was stationed up in uh, New York when uh, the World Trade got hit. And if you think it was a joke, son, you're on steroids too much. You better He's get He's obviously a, not you, on steroids. You, be, you better get a fucking reality check. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because <laughs> we brought a lot Sounds of people. Like a CNN we brought a lot of people across the river to the academy I was at so they could get triaged. So you're a fucking joke, buddy. The chief over and out. Did we get a sponsorship for two Chiefs rants today? But I share your opinion. <laughs> Somebody who is uh, involved in things of that nature. That yeah. And uh, just what so happened the 9/11 was not a hoax. Um, yeah, I yeah get a reality check. Even okay. then, when like you're a public figure, you should probably keep opinions like that to yourself and not put them out. LeBron James the too. World. LeBron James too. True that. Um, you know, and to be honest with you, um, going into my you know, show Chief and I did earlier and Brian Kendrick now, how many of us really want to watch sports or entertainment to talk politics? Not at all. Not many. I mean, the if NBA, any. with their political stance they did last year, um, lost a hell of a lot of money in the ratings and then quietly moved it aside. No. I don't want to hear politics while I watch sports. I no. don't want... I Me went, too. You know, LeBron James, play basketball, keep your mouth shut, um, you know, do, you know, come back from your hangnail, you know, <laughs> definitely uh, watch a hockey player, learn how to, you know, get hurt, knock his teeth out, 38 stitches, and then come back. You, you, you got a hangnail and you're out for four to six weeks. Uh, play basketball, shut your mouth, wrestle, shut your mouth, yep. keep yep. politics out of the sports. When the, I am a fan, I want to sit there, escape reality, bills, um, health problems in America, politics, and enjoy either an hour or three hours or ten hours of wrestling or sports and enjoy. How many people realize Thanksgiving, join with family, and then you watch six to eight hours of football because you don't want to deal with, oh, my God, i got to go, you know, Black Friday and bills and all this yeah. kind of stuff. You want to generally enjoy yourself. So Brian Kendrick, like Chief said, Shut the F up. Nothing you said was worth a damn. And mm -hmm. I, I'll give Tony Khan and those guys credit for pulling them because, yeah. you know, obviously things that happen, you know, in the past, not of this nature, but, you know, TV shows and <clears throat> comments in the past, um, leave it be. It happened. Move on. But, Brian, if you still believe that, get a reality check. I, I was taught growing up you don't talk politics and you don't talk religion. Yeah. How many, how many families now over politics and religion, and it's because of, and it's because of this social media, and we're social media, yeah. Yeah, don't get along with their families nowadays, which is sad. It is. It is freaking sad that people can't have holidays together because oh, somebody like Trump, or somebody like Biden, or you know things of that nature. Black sheep in the oh my God, please! And here's a prime example of the idiocracy of the studio here. It is not Donald Trump's fault. I'm sorry. You know, a mean tweet doesn't hurt the world. It's, it hurts your feelings. Go away. You know, that was my rant for the day. <laughs> <laughs> because there was a politician before then Jury. that divided America, in my opinion. A few, a few. Not just one brother. There was a whole lot of. Them. Yes. There's a lot of bad in every side, and oh, uh, yeah. you know, for this nonsense to be put on our screen here. Yeah, please take it off. Yes, please. Not that I agree with you or I disagree with you, but please take it off. Yeah. First. So with that being said, we only have how many minutes, guys? Two or three? 
<laughs> we have 15. 15. Are we really going 15? Yeah. Because he always cuts me short, especially when he starts I'll, talking I'll, politics. I'll put it not. I'll, leave. I'll, p- I'll give him a Tennessee dog whooping. So let's talk <laughs> birthdays. Yeah, birthdays. birthdays. Yeah, let's throw a curveball. Happy yeah. birthday yeah. to you. Curveball. Happy birthday. There we go. It's the Beatles. The Beatles. The Liverpool. For you. Birthdays this week, I guess. You got Madison Rain. Interesting. Okay. February 5th, which is today, isn't it? Happy birthday, yeah. Madison. So if there's still totally a birthday between now and Saturday, happy birthday. Yeah, we're happy gonna hand birthday. this around. Yeah. I can't we'll read. Give it to Chief. Let, let Chief read. I can't read his handwriting. And remember, it's not Chief, cursive. Remember, it's I wasn't taught in school how, how to food. read February block print. Six, From the Ascension. February yes. February the 7th. Hikaleu. Hikaleu. Ming. That no. Is, that Ming is Sun. Sun. Ming Sun. That is yeah. Ming Sun. February the 8th. Classy Freddy Glassy. Is your mic not on? I'm not hearing you. Jim Nyhart. God sens- rest his soul. And sensational Sherry. God bless her. Wonderful lady. February the 9th. Medusa. I love her blaze. She throws She's a awesome. she throws awesome. she throws a mean right hand. She laid MK's ass out this year at She CSU. broke the forbidden door. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, February the tenth, one of our very, very good friends, Victoria. <sighs> Louis Spicoli, the Spicoli driver. Vanessa Craven, KM, and Tachi Ishimori. February 11th, Cam Shamrock and Hernandez. So, happy birthday out to everybody. Happy birthday, everybody. Er, happy birthday. Ken Shamrock, isn't he like old? Yeah. <laughs> He's up there. Is he, is he as old as me? No. Okay. Just check. His first toy wasn't a stick. <laughs> okay. I have my wrenchy back. <laughs> yeah, where is my toy? There it is. <laughs> the Chief's toy. Have you seen that? The Chief's toy? Yeah, there it is right there. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> is the battery operated? Oh, you need <laughs> I got Just get that one to me. <laughs> Oh my God! I, I, I told you. Hey, I told you. It was before you, batteries. Is one of those ones you had to like wind up. I told you. <laughs> Technically, yes. <laughs> I told you that's why I sit in the middle because these jabronis pick on me all the time, man. Did you miss me? I know Aaron does. <laughs> <laughs> it's like old home week. Hey, we had a good. I gotta tell you what. I, I walk into the communist news network on TV. I mean, come on. <laughs> all, all joking. This, all joking aside, Scott and I had two great. The last two days, we have been great for And us. I don't remember of any of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sad part, it was not alcohol-induced. I, I told Liz, I said, when we're done with the show, I said, I'm coming home going to sleep. I, my ass is tired. I ain't going to admit. I ain't going to lie wow. to you, folks. All right. So, so w- with that coming up, we, we've talked wait, to our wait, own. Wait, 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 wait. Chief used to use the stick to change the channels on the radio so he could watch wrestling. Thank you. <laughs> Love you, that, too. That, that would Love imply you too, that they Sean. had more than one channel. <laughs> Love you, too, Sean. Thank you, brother. Yeah, Sean. You know, he, he's the remote? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't you have you gotten a uh, – yeah, it's going to pop up, too. Yeah. Shouldn't you have you gotten, like, a trademark or some kind of you know, kickback for making a remote control? <laughs> <laughs> So how about the Briscoes, the first inductees in the, the Hall of Fame? I called that one. That was a good pick. But, yeah. but the problem is, it doesn't bring them on our ever count anymore now. They're coming back in yeah. April. They already announced sure the show. They got so. tickets on sale and the venue booked. And in April. Who's going who's gonna to give money to an organization that lost money, disappeared three months in advance? <laughs> to me, that's called a free loan. <laughs> <laughs> hey, True. And where is the show going to be? Do we know? Vegas. I wish it was No, here. it's in Dallas, in the area. I forgot where. Are you sure? Yes, which, tickets, yeah. tickets your, are on sale. What's your source? Meltzer. Jason Piper. <laughs> Meltzer. <laughs> hey, anyway. Meltzer. Mike Johnson of PW Insider. Hey, hey anyway, uh, I, I, I messed up, guys. And I'm what? Gonna, and I'm going to do this. Sean, Mr. Sean Hyde, his youngest son, Wyatt, happy birthday to you today, my friend. Happy awesome. birthday. Happy birthday. We didn't play the music for him, but that's okay. 
So who's going to be the next uh, inductee that they're going to announce it this week? Ring of Honor? Got to be Jay Lethal. It's got to be. Yeah. Yeah. Lethal. Jay or Lethal. unless they try to go like Daniel the Bryan Daniels, yeah. or Adam Cole or... Hey, did, did Cole do something on the mic last night? On huh? The, did Adam Cole do something on the mic last night? I heard or something. How about going from like top billing to irrelevant? Yeah, <laughs> he's trying to get his respect back and like demolish somebody. He's trying to go after the AEW title. He no, he hasn't he's too been, small. He hasn't been there long enough. Bay Bay. Well, now that Brian Danielson was like, I mean, I know Brian Danielson is a bigger star than Adam Cole, but if you're going by that route, then. Danielson just walked in and went after the title. I know he's the bigger star, but the way you said it, Cole hasn't been there long enough. He hasn't. Well, now there was Brian. But, if you're but going Brian, by that point. But Brian can freaking wrestle. Cole can go too. We all no, seen that. bullshit. But what's amazing is AEW said they would never use old WWE wrestlers to build their card and their, their organization. And now you see a poster of their next pay-per-view. And how many are AEW stars? Uh, no. No. Mm. It's... They're all WWE guys. The last one I saw was like all WWE people except for Britt Baker. Yeah. So what they've done is literally conned everybody. <laughs> and <laughs> just basically. <laughs> thank you. Finally. Uh, uh, you know, taking A day that late, the dollar, dollar short, short. But taking everybody and just spun it a different way. Yeah. And once again. Oh, wait. Sean's saying something. Oh, thanks, guys. Okay. I feel like, uh, you know. Charlie Brown school teacher. <laughs> his, um, his wife is a school teacher. Awesome. Congratulations. I believe it. Ki- well, it used to Our be. Our other school teacher who's on a golf course elementary. today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to ri- trying to ride around in a golf course. Yeah, Jason told me to shut up, and guess what? I pay for the show. <laughs> Cha-ching. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, we got a few minutes in. Uh, you don't hear that in Vegas too often. Um, criminal Minds, ret- uh, pop culture, cr- Criminal right. Minds returning to TV on Paramount. Who even watches that? I, do, I don't. No, I've never watched Criminal Minds. What the hell's wrong with you? I don't know. What's well, like every episode of that show? That show's hella good. Is that on TV? It's not on the radio. Yes, oh, you have to okay. get one of the big square things <laughs> with the pictures on it. Then I don't, then I don't look care at the about it. Yeah, rectangle that. <laughs> rectangle that. It's like one of those things. I don't care about it. Pro Bowl now. next. Pro, Pro Bowl, Bowl and NHL All Star Game. We t- touched about this on, earlier on my show, which is penalty box. We had to think. <laughs> I'm still tired. Uh, which is Pro Bowl and NHL All Star Game weekend here in Vegas. Chief and I talked about. It. I know you were probably driving. Um, Kev, Kev Buckler. Hey, okay. Kev. Good yeah. morning, buddy. My Tennessee he'd be, buddy. He'd be rather watching AEW than anything Oldberg. Okay, yeah. Go Remember Orange. Trump, yeah. Um, go orange. Last time they were good. Peyton Manning was a quarterback. <laughs> <coughs> that was the last time. He's retired in the Hall of Fame now. Um, Pro Bowl and NHL. So we had two, there, two big who's things. Who's there from Michigan? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. He retired just recently. Uh, he's he's going to be the first one for him. It's the, you want to talk about Desmond it? Howard? You want to talk about No, he ain't in the Hall of Fame. Um, be. Brady? <laughs> Bra- Bra- yeah, Brady will He's be. kind of a thing. Brady will <laughs> See, You might have won a game or two. Yeah. <laughs> is, is Mr. Schembechler in the Hall of Fame? Bo Schembechler? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So is Johnny Majors. Okay. No, you, I mean, what in the old school if, football? When, when did this yeah. come? Well, what Hall of Fame? Well, we talking about? Where, where was this conversation you, two hey, hours hey, ago? Yeah. You, 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 uh, you can't. You want to go one for one, tit for tat, man. I mean, I'll how many national championships? Who has the most right now besides Alabama? Uh, I think Michigan. How many? How uh, many? How, who's got the all-time winning? Are you winning sure percentage about? In, are you sure about in that? college football history? Michigan. Yeah, but who's coach tripped a player out on the football field? Michigan. Who's never been suspended for allegations? Bo Schembechler. Go back and look it yeah, up, that's when folks. boys became men. Go back and look it Military up. Military guy here. He, <laughs> has, he, he has to Tough cheat. Tough love. He has to cheat to win. <laughs> Tough love. They had Tom Brady. That's all. That's cool. But, ever but you know, getting, ever. Back, getting back to what we were talking yes. about, the biggest thing, in my opinion, that we've had in town so far this weekend. East-West Strand game. Yes, sir. Young men trying to. Make their uh, 
debuts and you know get in front of uh, NFL scouts yep. and getting ready for trying to make draft. their dreams come true. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, just and like Damon Arnett trying to make his dreams come true. At and the you could have gone. You could have gone to the game. Ohio you State know, boy. You could have gone to the game for nineteen dollars. That's what they were charging for well, tickets. It's not bad at all. No, no. but no. we have here that the you know we've had two two events. One's today. Um, you know, you have the NHL All Star Game tomorrow. Oh, so. Yeah. So much going on here in Vegas. Vegas is sports city, blah, 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 the sports city of America, entertainment capital of the world. But from what Chief and I saw and talked to numerous people, the casinos, the businesses yeah. are not profiting. Yeah. So what good was it for Vegas? We, we talked yesterday. We talked to the valet driver. We talked to security uh, at the, the Silver service? Nugget. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck stays there purposely? <laughs> at, a, at a different facility. Different, different station casinos. Different facility. But the place Who goes to Sunset thing? Station purposely? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hurt. <laughs> no, uh, which, by the way, I'll be set up at Sunset Station for Super Bowl weekend with all well, my toys, tickets, and NFL stuff. Well, I can tell you, NFL NFL some but friend of ours goes there and stays. Because somebody set it up for him. Well, <laughs> because somebody else forgot. Doesn't make any difference. He <laughs> stayed there. But, they but realistically, there. what has it no. done for the economy it hasn't. in Las Vegas? You, you're not seeing people in the casinos. You're not seeing no. them in the restaurants or in the no. nightclubs because there's so much to do. There. Maybe they should have broke it out a little bit and maybe taken it next year or the year after. Uh, I worked at Heart Attack Grill last night. The amount of hockey jerseys I saw people wearing. Walking okay. around Fremont Street, there's a lot of freaking. Somebody hockey actually fans. had clothes on. Oh yeah, at yeah. Fremont Street. A lot of okay. Canucks. <laughs> I mean, a lot of Canadians came down. Yeah, actually. a lot of. There's Canadians. a lot of like All Star jerseys out. That's good. A yeah. lot of random like hockey and football fans. I think it's drawing, but, just not like. But, but what you just said, there's a lot of jerseys, so people are buying the of merchandise, course, which course. only helps the league. Is it actually helping? The server that's working off minimum wage, working off tips, the bartenders and things like that. I'm just wondering. We had what an hour doing. wait. An hour wait? What's that? My man. No, oh, Peyton. Making his living now doing Lay's Frito chip commercials. Uh, and making a good buck. Oh, I'd make that buck. Ain't buck doing too. Tennessee but commercials the one, trying to get people over there. The one thing I said to you <laughs> in our earlier show that I really think. Aren't you hurt, a Navy guy? Aren't you supposed to be like the Navy is academy hurt, and is hurting, football team? Is and hurting us. The buffets are closed. Yeah, the buffets. That kills us. Because it does bring in a lot of families. And yes, they spend it does. Money, drop money in the casino. Yep. I'm just kind of curious what the no true numbers are going to be after this all comes out. Do you think it's actually helping Vegas, Matt? You said there's an hour-long wait. Your thoughts? Final thoughts? Fremont was pretty busy last night with like just a lot of people in general, but it was okay. also First Friday and... A bunch of other stuff going on, but is first fr first Friday's back now? Yes. Yeah, it's okay. been for a couple months. A couple months. Chief, do you think it helped the economy here in Vegas? No. Thomas? No. You work in the retail type market? Well, retail, but that yeah. doesn't. I mean, I don't work off the strip. I don't work anywhere near the strip, so. Yeah. But my store is always busy. That doesn't make a difference. My store, with all the sports stuff going on in town, empty. Man uh, hey, mention the Pro Bowl. Boulevard Mall, Power Play Sports no. Collectibles. Sunset Station. Super Sunset Bowl. Station, Please. Super Bowl weekend. And don't forget February 18th, 19th, and 20th over at the Boulevard Mall, the Sports Car Toys and Collectibles Show. And with that being said, it's 11 o'clock Pacific. I want to thank Aaron for letting me sit in. Matt, Chief, and Thomas, quick thought goodbye. Everybody have a good, safe week. Go watch the games, support the economy. Go out to dinner, take friends. Taking Jason. Go to Ultimate Sports Car. <laughs> Power Play Sports and Collectibles. Chief. Go Navy. Thomas. Be safe. Have a good week. Everyone out there, stay safe. And as our illustrious leader would say, basically, keep everyone happy. Thoughts count anywhere. And <laughs> I forgot because I'm half asleep. But Aaron, get back at the desk here next week. We'll see you on Thoughts Count Anywhere and the Penalty Box. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>